Hello everyone and welcome to Life Transformation UK. My name is Ben and today I want to talk to you about how to answer the question, how can I motivate myself to change my life? Now you might have the intention to go out there and do amazing things, you might even have a plan to do so, but you might be lacking in motivation right now. So the question is, how do you get the motivation to go out there and change your life? Well, in this video, I'm gonna answer that question and hopefully help you to understand how to build your own personal motivation towards going out there and achieving your dreams and goals in life. So if you do find this video useful, make sure to leave a like and a comment to let me know what it is that you're gonna be doing to transform your life. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. But let's jump into how you can start to get motivated to change your life. Okay, so ultimately what the problem with this question is, is not how can you get motivated, it's the idea that you have to change your entire life and you have to do it right now. To change your entire life is a huge ask and it's not a very, very easy thing to go about doing. It's very much like if you were to go to university and have to sit your finals on the very, very first day, you're not gonna know what to do, you're not gonna know how to answer the questions or what the examiners are looking for, and it's just going to be a huge stressful mess and you're not gonna feel motivated to do it at all because you're likely just going to fail. But as it is with going to university or college or any kind of educational establishment, they do not give you the exam on the first day. Instead, what they do is they take you through a syllabus and they walk you through everything step by step so that at the end of the year or two years, three years, four years, however long it takes, you are 100% ready as long as you've put in the work to sit the final exam and get that achievement, get that recognition, get that qualification, whatever it is that's at the end of the line. And it is the exact same thing with trying to change your life. If you go out with the intention of trying to change your entire life right now, it's going to be overwhelming, it's going to be stressful, and it's going to leave you feeling unmotivated because you're just not going to know what to do. So how you go about this is the same way that you would go about eating an elephant. You're going to do this one little bite at a time. You don't have to go out there and conquer the world right this second. Give yourself a chance, take a deep breath and just do one thing. That's all you ever have to do is just one thing. It doesn't matter what goal you set for yourself or what your dream is, there are going to be a series of steps that are going to take you from where you are at point A to where you want to be at point Z. And what you have to figure out now is what step do you have to take that is going to move you in that direction. It doesn't matter if it's a big step or if it's a small step. You just have to make some kind of movement in the direction that you want to go. And I know that I repeat this concept in almost every single video that I talk about. But the name of the game in terms of self-improvement is momentum. You have to build up momentum and that is what is going to push you faster and faster and faster to get to your goals. You don't have to focus on the entire big picture right now, you just have to focus on taking the next step. If you go into a marathon thinking, oh my god, I've got to run 26 miles, you're not going to have a lot of fun, you're not going to be focused on what you have to do right now, which is literally just put one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other over and over and over again and in no time at all you're going to be crossing the finish line. It's good to know what the big picture is, it's good to know what you want out of life, but the only thing that is important, more important than planning, more important than anything, is to just take that one small step right now that is going to be moving you in the direction that you need to go. A few days ago I was playing a game of badminton with some friends of mine and we were quite far back in the game. The, the other pair had taken a very, very, very convincing lead over us and we were very much determined to win but my playing partner was feeling a little bit discouraged, he wasn't making the smartest decisions, he wasn't really picking his shots and because of that we were just bleeding more and more and more points in the game. 
all I could do was fall back on what it is that I know and I shared it with him that our strategy for however long the game takes is that we're going to just play it shot by shot. We're not going to try to win the game, we're not going to try to win the point. All we're going to do is try and win the individual shot that we're playing. And because we were able to have that kind of mentality where we stopped thinking of the bigger picture and we just started thinking of, right, where do I need to place this shot and where do I need to move on the court afterwards? And those are the only things that we thought about. Playing the shot and getting ready to defend. Playing the shot and getting ready to defend until we had won enough points that we actually managed to come back to a very, very respectable score before we did eventually lose the game anyway. And that's just kind of a life lesson that sometimes there is going to be failures, but you can take important lessons from your failures in life as well. And a few games later, when we had rotated back to playing with one another again, we won the game by a huge margin because we continued playing the way we had been playing before, which was shot by shot by shot. So it might not be an exact analogy or an exact replica of the situation that you find yourself in right now, but I can assure you that the best thing you could possibly do when you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling under-motivated, is to stop, take a deep breath, think of what the plan is, and then put the big picture aside and take a single step. And then once you've taken that single step, stop, take the next step. And then stop, take the next step. And just keep doing that. And sometimes motivation just isn't going to be there, but by building up momentum, you're also building up discipline in your life. And that is far more powerful than motivation itself. Discipline and momentum will push you a lot further than motivation will alone. So I hope you have found this video useful. If you have done, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more videos like this in the future. And don't forget to take that single step today. If you feel like this video would be useful to others, please make sure that you share it. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in future videos very soon.